Prem, Bit Automatic here. Welcome back to uh, another episode. Today, we're going to be playing Jalopy. I, this is another game I've really enjoyed. Basically, what you have to do is you have to get this thing, which is like, it's called the Leica, Leica 601 in this game, but it's a, um, it, it's also known as a Trabant. Uh, made in Germany, basically, a long, long history. It's, it's well known as being a really, really bad car. Um, <laughs> so, without further ado, let's, uh, let's get right back into it. I already have a file right now I've been kind of messing around with, but we'll start a new game. And the, there is a tutorial at the beginning of the game, but um, I'm sure you guys have seen it by now. I'll, I'll just make it super quick. Yes, uncle. Yes, yes, yes. Is he squeaking? Isn't she a beaut? Look at it. It's not done yet, but... So, engine, air filter, carburetor, stock fuel... Oh. Frag link pick up three things. Air filter, carburetor... <sighs> <laughs> it's a really fun kind of management game, I guess, and, and not really a survival game because you don't have any like needs or anything like that need to be met. But it, it is interesting because you have to get it through without without the car breaking down. So you have to make sure to carry all the necessary supplies and keep everything in working order. And I've done this so many times. <laughs> like I've only gotten to the what what I would only define as the end of the road once, basically before the Turkey update. Because there's an update where they added the country Turkey a little while ago. I get it, I get it, I get it. I'll, I'll, anything that, that he's saying, I'll be, um, I'll be making sure to communicate to you guys if, uh, if I feel like it needs communication. Actually, right now is a really good time, so basically you fill up your car with fuel, of course. Now go ahead and drop that if you're done with it. Well, that's the thing, I'm gonna put it in, uh, behind the, in the, in the trunk here so I have some extra fuel. But yeah, so the gas tank... Yeah, come on, come on. So yeah, you see, I just filled up the gas tank, and now it says in the bottom right there, no oil mix. Um, what you do is you click. Well, I'm not, I'm not done with this thing, Uncle. I know how to take care of cars better than you do, apparently. <laughs> but it says lean oil mix, now optimal oil mix. There you go. So you gotta put in some oil along with the, with the uh, gasoline every single time, otherwise reliability will go down on various points of the vehicle there. And of course, that's how... The windshield wipers, uh, let's say you clean the windshield, get that water there, so we'll grab some more parts. Alright, so I'm going to be very careful about this, because I managed to mess this up before. Um, I can't remember how, I think I had the tires attached before I lifted it, I, I can't remember. There, um, now twist the handle, okay. But basically, it, it didn't, it didn't give me, okay, it didn't, it didn't give me the tire iron, so I was like, I, I was completely messed up. And I have a very particular way of doing this, and your instructions are not necessarily helping me. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Uncle, let's go. Tie that up. So yeah, this is like the super... If you aren't much of a car person, or the idea of working on cars is a little bit daunting to you, this is an absolutely great game to get to get uh, playing. Um, super simple, really. All you have to do is just, like you saw that, you just have to jack up the car, and then screw in the tire, screw in the tire, that's it. Repairing things is as easy as, as taking a tool set and and uh, clicking on the part that's broken. Nice and easy. There. Uh, get. Out. Oh shoot! Yes. <laughs> In this update, um, you can actually uh, ride with your uncle. I accidentally. I was going to bring him anyways, but I accidentally brought him right there and closed the door on him twice, as you saw. Now we just gotta load the trunk with essential stuff. And uh, another great feature of this game is buying and selling stuff. So. Oh, shoot. Okay, yeah, that'd be fine. Let's just... Actually, you know what? He walks you through all of this stuff. Manual. So because we want to fill up the uh, gas tank, or the gas tank and the container, uh, let's just go the long route with the gas station. Apparently, I've driven 1,088 kilometers. That's pretty good. <laughs> Looks like I'm trying to kick him out. Rock on! On the road. So our first trip is actually on the Autobahn, which you actually will not recommend uh, recognize. <laughs> I think this is the Autobahn. Yeah, because I said for the first part we'll be on the Autobahn, so maybe this is the Autobahn. I've never been there, so I don't know. There's supposedly other cars in this too. Did I turn those on? I don't know. I don't know. Takes a real good amount of time for this thing to get up to speed. 
But like seriously, like, oh, I saw I saw a car up there. But like seriously, uh, um, a Trabant with this amount of mileage on it is actually really would be really prized. Like holy crap! Like sure, it might not work for very much longer, but like <laughs> it'd be worth a lot, I think. I'd assume. Now we really got her up to speed. Whoops, whoops. Yeah, yeah, Uncle, you need to get out a little bit more. I think that would probably do you wonders. So as you may have seen, um, I brought my summer car back on the main channel. I, I know I said like two or three times maybe it was going on overload, but I couldn't do that. Um, overload, I'm still, I'm kind of, okay, let me, let me just talk about what, what, uh, the history with overload is, is going to be right now. Uh, the whole thing I kind of, I kind of made it for was to, to release the, the endings of series that, that nobody was watching anymore. Oh, wow. Okay, well, you know what, I'll, I'll get back to this in a second. Um, I'll bring you up to speed on how this works. Okay, yeah, so he's just basically saying you have to, like, you have to, you have to take things and sell them. What he's trying to communicate is you have to take things and sell them to keep the car on the road, to buy the parts to be able to fix it, and to, to buy the fuel, of course, right, so, um, that's it. But, Rampant Overload was going to be a channel where I, where I, um, I finish off the episodes I, that people weren't watching anymore, because when I see a, a ch a ch an episode, or a, a series with, like, two or three views and there's no ending I'm not you know I, I don't like that I just I just like to oh okay the fruits of the road come in many forms an abandoned car can provide us with much needed replacement tires yeah yeah it does often or perhaps whoa <laughs> okay <laughs> Christ that kind of scared took me uh took my surprise or perhaps if a crate at the side of the road will allow us to trade for fuel whatever we need she shall provide we just need faith good 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 Okay, so uh, I cannot get this out right now. So yeah, so so many view, so many few views on the main channel. I was just like, ah, I may as well just put it somewhere else, just so people can at least get a, get some kind of resolution for for what, what what their favorite series was. Because you know those two people, they, they stuck around to watch, so th they should be valued as well. Uh, it makes sense to me. It only makes sense to me. Um, uh oh, like is looking a little into the weather right now. But uh, what what rambit? Overload might be. Oh my god. <laughs> Are you noticing the changes in scenery? We're entering what's known as the Black Triangle. Oh wow. That's, that's crazy. Um, but yeah, basically what Rambit Overload is going to be right now is just all of the extra stuff I want to film and release. So, just quick little videos of things that just come up in my mind. Um, nothing, in, not, nothing like really particular. And the main reason I've done that is because... Um, oh, she's not sounding very good. But the main reason I've done that is, is I can barely, like, I can barely release one episode a night as it is, uh, let alone recording the endings of, and, and also releasing episodes for Rambit Overload, and then do it for, for the main channel, which I need to have a release, I need, I, I strive to have a release every single night, you know? Um, I, I've said from the get-go, oh, it's upsetting to see, let's see. All the pollution here caused by industrialization. It wasn't that that way when I first passed through the region. Yeah, just how it changes. I don't know. Um, I'll save the rest for like a podcast or something like that. Because this is just literally just driving, isn't it? <laughs> I'm really pushing this. Here we go. She's sounding a little sick here. Yes, buddy. Yes, that's right. Hit it. Oh, shoot. Oh, that scared me. <laughs> so, let's stick this in the trunk, because you need a uh, crowbar to open this up. There. Bam. Gotcha. Okay. Rock and road. Oh, come on. <laughs> Thank you.